Energy is the ability to do work, and energy comes in many forms. However, the only forms of interest to us are thermal energy, kinetic energy, and chemical energy, which is stored in the chemical bonds between atoms or interactions between molecules. The energy of the universe is a constant. It can be displaced from one place to another, but it cannot be created or destroyed. In thermodynamics, one must define a system. Systems may or may not allow the transfer of matter or of heat. If both are allowed to transfer, the system is open. If only matter cannot be transferred, it is a closed system. If neither can be transferred, then the system is said to be isolated. If heat enters the system, we have an endothermic process. It is exothermic if it escapes. Enthalpy is a thermodynamic function defined as E plus P times V. It is not readily obvious why this definition is useful, but one discovers that the change in enthalpy of a system is equal to the heat gained or lost by the system if it is exposed to a constant pressure, which is often the case for reactions carried out in the real world. A thermochemical reaction is a balanced chemical equation that also states the enthalpy change, or heat gained or lost, at a constant pressure. If positive, the reaction is endothermic, heat is absorbed by the system. If negative, the reaction is exothermic, heat is released by the system. How the temperature changes upon absorbing or releasing heat is an important consideration. We know that some objects cool and heat rapidly, such as a metal. Other substances cool and heat rather slowly, such as water. This is because metals have a low specific heat, while water has a high specific heat. The relationship between temperature change and the amount of heat lost or gained is given by the formula Q equals ms delta T. The greater the mass and specific heat, the smaller the temperature change. Finally, remember that the energy of the universe is a constant. So if a heat transfer occurs between two objects, one must be undergoing an exothermic process and the other is undergoing an endothermic process. And each one's value for the heat must be the exact same magnitude, but of opposite sign. As such, the sum is zero and the energy of the universe is conserved.